Hi guys, Lynn Abrams, Straight Razor Place and Straight Razor Designs. One of the questions that I hear a lot from new people is, I'm having trouble making lather. And typically when I hear that, uh, I'm thinking that uh, they're using a little too much water. So um, you really can't tell. Some people have soft water, some people have hard water in the environments that they live at. And so the water where I live tends to be fairly hard, but I find that through the use of less water, uh, I'm really able to generate uh, my, my lather on my brushes. Uh, an important thing to consider when you're lathering is that the key to having a good lather is to, to build up the lather or build up the soap actually on your brush. So today what we're going to use is a Straight Razor Designs Frankincense, which is a glycerin based soap, and we're going to use a Thader Finest uh, brush on, on uh, Badger, and we'll go ahead and generate uh, suds right out of the container here, and I'll show you how I mix up uh, and, and lather a brush so that I can, I can uh, get ready to shave. All right. Typically I start with really hot water. Now in many cases I'll have my brush uh, in a scuttle and it, it actually is soaking and it's getting nice and warm. But for purposes of this I'm going to run just a little hot water and I'm going to soak the brush totally through. The key for me is the less water the more I can load the soap on the brush. So I shake that out pretty good and then I just start swirling. Now the nice thing about the Thader brushes that I like for, especially with it being a badger, is that the tips are incredibly soft, but there's backbone here. And so uh, if you can tell, uh, you, I'm actually starting to build up some lather. You can see the white that's showing up on the top of that soap and we're starting to load up this brush, okay? And so once I'm getting the soap on there a little bit, I add just a touch more water. I just touch it under the faucet. Less water seems to work really good when you're trying to, to get the soap from the container itself to load up on the bristles of the brush. Depending on how much lather you like, and I like a thick lather, uh, and I, I tend to be a face latherer, so you know, once I really load up a brush, uh, I, I usually will go right to the face and build some suds. Touch of water, back to the brush. And a lot of times, just doing this three or four times, if you want to do more, that's fine. Um, uh, this typically will load up a brush pretty well. One more time, and you can tell there's a fair amount of soap on there already. Touch under the water. I love the frankincense smell. All right, there we go. Okay, so we've got this brush fairly loaded up. I'm just going to do a touch more water and then I'm going to start lathering. As you can tell, I built up a fair amount of suds here in just that couple of minutes using less water. And from here, if I want a little more, just touch it back under the faucet again. And we can keep going with this all day long and make the suds just as big and thick as you want them. I like to paint it back on. A little bit more water, which just thins it out a touch. But the reason I like the big suds like this, particularly with the better soaps, is they really provide a nice glide and cushion. There you have it. Now, if you want, I can keep going. We can totally fill this brush to where it's overflowing. It's make as much as you want. You can see the suds flying all over the place. And we can just keep going and keep going with just that amount of soap. And there's enough on here to last at least one shave. So there you have it. That's making suds with just plain old glycerin soap.
And I, I hope you try this. And I hope you have success with it at, at the house. So happy shaving, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.